Something which cannot be disproven can be classified as a perfect mystery, and one such mystery is that of the Sasquatch. Although many skeptics put forward sturdy arguments related to population growth anomalies and the fact that no concrete remains have yet to publicly surface, it is an enigma which many claim to have seen and experienced, yet many more seemingly dismiss offhand without ever really exploring the subject in depth. For if one did, they would find countless individuals with nothing to gain from claiming such encounters, or that of legitimate scientific researchers who are after nothing but the truth. A new study of DNA evidence for Bigfoot has been published in the De Novo Scientific Journal. While many believed it to be an unidentified ape species, the new study says their genetic evidence shows the Sasquatch is, in fact, a hybrid of modern human females who mating with an unidentified primate species some 13,000 years ago. According to the paper, a team of forensic scientists looked at 111 specimens of hair, blood, skin, and other tissues that were said to come from Bigfoot. The samples were gathered from 14 U.S. states and two provinces in Canada. Quote, we soon discovered that certain hair samples, which we would later identify as purported Sasquatch sample, had unique morphology, distinguishing them from typical human and animal samples. These hair samples could not be identified as known animal or human, and so they were subsequently screened using DNA testing, beginning with sequencing of mitochondrial DNA followed by sequencing nuclear DNA to determine where these individuals fit into the tree of life," end quote, said lead author Melba Ketchum from DNA Diagnostics. There are indeed motivations which have yet to be argued as the reason why, if such a species existed, it has been actively covered up, that being its homeland prime logging territory, an industry with considerable clout, and one that would undoubtedly be catastrophically affected by the exposure of such a rare animal in such locations, many of which being prime logging lands, deforestation being an issue which all should now be aware as an often careless activity when it comes to endangering animal populations, no matter how rare. Does Sasquatch really exist? We find such possibilities highly compelling.